Now we're going to look at a situation when we, where we have two items in the first bracket and three items in the second bracket. We do get asked about this uh, at National 5 level. Sometimes it just get asked when there's two and there's two that's a bit easier, but we've got to play a bit of ten attention to this. So the way this works, there's a way to do it. Basically, the things that are in this bracket, I've got to multiply all the things in here, but it's very important to keep tidy with it. Right, so one way to, that we can think about it is using this thing called a rainbow, um, which is uh, a way people sometimes refer to it. That makes your x multiplies the x squared, x multiplies the 3x, x multiplies the 4. And then the second thing, the brackets, the 2 has got to multiply the x squared, the 2 has got to multiply the minus 3x, and the 2 has got to multiply the minus 4. So we've got six different things. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's very important to keep this tidy and to keep your page tidy, and, you know, because that'll help you make sure that you don't make mistakes in it. Right, so x times x squared is your first thing. So that's x cubed is x times x squared. Your second thing is x times minus 3x. That will give you minus 3x squared. And then we've got x times 4, which will give us 4x. Right, and now we deal with the bottom bit of this rainbow formation thing. We deal with the fourth thing, which is 2 times x squared. And I find it helpful to lay this out so that it's stepped back from this first number into this second bracket, because this is where our x squared lives. So we just put that underneath there. It's easier to keep tidy and keep track of things. Right, and 2 times minus 3x, which will give us minus 6x. And 2 times 4, which will give us 8. Right, and now all we've got to do, as we had to do in the brackets that I've got two items and two other items in the other bracket, we've just got to tidy things up, sort similar things together. So our x cubed and our 8, there's nothing that's going to change about these, but these middle terms, we've got to sort out how many x squares we've got and how many x's we've got. So we do have x cubed as the outside term. Now we've got 2x squared minus 3x squared. That will give us a deficit of x squared. So that's a minus x squared. Two positives and three negatives. Right, now we've got four positive x's here and we've got minus 6x's. Here, so that's 4 minus 6 of the x's, so that's minus 2x. And then just our last term is our plus 8. Right, so these questions do come up at National 5, so we've got to uh, get used to, our, to answering them, and through practice we will get that. But as I, as I was saying, it's very important to keep this tidy. So that because it's very easy to make mistakes when the, there's six items that have to be sorted out, and particularly when it includes negatives, as it may well do. Right, so practice is the key to this thing. So let's go on and practice some of these.